Hello everyone, today what I want to do is show you the first social user dashboard. This is the control panel that lets you manage all your apps, uh, it lets you add new apps and new integrations. So I'm going to give you a quick look and show you how it works. So the first thing you want to do from the web page itself is go ahead and click on the login button. Now our page uses login with Facebook so as long as you're logged in with Facebook you're going to go directly to your dashboard. If you're not logged in with Facebook you're going to be asked to log in to Facebook and then you'll end up at your dashboard. Once you're at your dashboard, if this is the first time that you've gotten to the dashboard, the very first thing you're going to want to do is go over here to the last icon and click on install apps. Now depending on the plan you have, the membership level you have, you're going to be able to install our apps on any number of pages from 1 to 10. This one here you can see we have one more page that we can install apps on. So what we'll just do is go ahead and select the, the fan page we want to install the apps on and we would click the install now button. Once we do that we can then install any of these other apps on our selected fan page. Each of these icons here will take you to the management section for that particular app. For example, if we were to click on the sweepstakes app, we can see all the sweepstakes apps we have installed. First we see the fan page that it's installed on and then the name we gave that particular app. We can see the number of hits, the number of entries, and the activity status. Uh, we just installed this, we're going to do a demo on this next, so there are, obviously are no hits and entries. The active status is changeable from right here in the dashboard. You can pause the app, you can make it active, or you can suspend it. Now the point in suspending an app is, say you're doing these tabs for somebody else, you're a reseller, and they don't pay you. This gives you the option to suspend it. Now they can't even admin it until you go ahead and, and activate it again for them. That's just a way to ensure that if you're a reseller you're going to get paid. If you want to create a new app and add it to a new fan page, you just go ahead and click on the create new app. You'll see the pop-up. You select the page that you want and click the create new app button. To manage your app, just click on the edit view and what that will do is take you to the fan page tab where you have the app installed and just all of our apps are managed from within the tab itself so you can go ahead and click on the admin button from there and manage your app. If you're an elite member you're gonna see this button right here now this is only available for elite members but if you are an elite member you can click on this and what this does is allows you to upload a logo that will show on each apps admin section you can go ahead and brand it to your company or anything you want and nobody has to know that you're using the service. Alright, so that's a quick look at the back-end dashboard for the first social apps. Watch out for our next video and we're going to show you how to use the Sweepstakes app.